I, I know that this project has been a long time coming. I think it was sort of initially announced maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. Do you feel like general movie audiences are a bit more open now to games like Warcraft being adapted into films? I don't know. I think if anything, the, the track record has made them even more cautious. And I understand that. I, I you know, I, I like to say that, you know, it took a generation of filmmakers who grew up reading comic books to start making good comic book movies, and I feel the same way about video games. I feel like maybe I'm, you know, just about young enough that I was a gener I was the first generation who grew up playing video games, and that's kind of part of who I am. So making a movie, you know, as a, as a filmmaker that happens to be inspired by a video game, I think maybe my approach would be slightly different than the, these films that have been made in the past. I, and I, I think we've succeeded in breaking breaking the curse. I think given the right people involved, I think people are. But those games are so epic, they've got so much story. There's so many people spend so many hours and so much is discarded you can't put in the game, you know? So they're very rich. But also Duncan went the right direction as he didn't try and make a film about what it would be like to play this game. He just took the world and made a film about it. Yeah, this is the first time that a temporal budget has been given to a fan piece, you know. And we're doing the right part of the film, we're starting at the very beginning, and we're making a great movie, we're telling a great story. Uh, so I'm really excited about this being the first film that opens up the gaming world and the, the, the movie going world into accepting the fact that we can make great stories from great video games. So if there is one thing that you wanted someone who's watching this movie who never played Warcraft before to take away from the film, what would it be? I think it would be just that that um, you know there are there are there are more ways to portray fantasy than just Peter Jackson's seminal Lord of the Rings. And if you were willing to give that a chance and you didn't read Tolkien but you loved those movies, I'd say give this a chance too, even if you didn't play the game. <laughs>